talking to spirits, laughing with ghosts. I'm here to do your daily reading. All right, hope everybody's having a good day. We're just going to kind of see what messages we have come to us today. All right, just a general reading. Resonates with you. Awesome. If it does not, check back with me. So let's see what we have going on. Ooh. All right. We're going to start with Earth Signs. Ooh, I almost just lost this whole deck right here. All right, Earth Signs. Here we go. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ooh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, Taurus, the message for you today. Goddess, express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. All right. Virgo, law of attraction, relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. And Capricorn, you have crystals. The energy of crystals supports you and helps you with your present situation. All right. So for Capricorn, if you're feeling a certain type of way, if you're feeling sick, if you're feeling down, whatever that may be, check into crystals that's going to help you out with this. Okay. Virgo's law of attraction. What you used to love to do, you don't love doing anymore. Things are changing. All right, you're getting a different taste in your mouth. Okay, Taurus, um, you need to, you are working on like your nurturing qualities, okay? Also your intuition, you're raising your vibes, you're raising your energy levels, things like that. So you're coming into new dimensions, I feel like. You're learning new things about yourself. You've kind of calmed down a little bit. You're more loving, okay? You you um, take different approaches in situations, all right? That's what's coming out for you guys. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What messages do we have for you guys? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, Cancer. You also have law of attraction. Relationship activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. All right? So what, what you used to like to do, maybe you don't like to do that anymore. Okay? You're changing your, changing your vibrations, raising those vibes. All right? Scorpios, if you get nervous, focus on service. Put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. All right? If you're questioning things... Then you say, how can I make the world a better place? All right, get your mindset in that. Pisces, third eye chakra. It is safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms, such as angels, um, auras, and visions. Okay? So Pisces, it's okay for you to love. It's okay for you to fall in love. It is okay for you to love another person. You will also um, need to work on speaking with your angels. Okay, the maybe visions that you're seeing, write those down, look that up if you aren't sure. You have messages coming to you to help you out with what you've been going through, Pisces. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, Aries. Cut your cords, all right? Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear to fear that stern from past relationships, okay? Freeing you from destructive patterns. Cut the cords, Aries. Leo, twin flame, the answer to your question involves a, re a spiritually based romantic relationship. So if you're looking for love, here's the answer as to why you haven't found it yet, all right? You also, um, if you have, if you are in a relationship, maybe you're having issues, all right, think about it spiritually. Ask your guides to help you, to help you work through that. Sagittarius, you have base chakra. Choose only positive thoughts to desire your home, career, and finances. As your, as your words determine your outcome. Watch your words, okay? Don't, don't say negative things, all right, because negative things will happen to you. All right, that's your message for today. Air signs, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini.
Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right, Aquarius, singing and dancing. Express yourself and awaken your psychic sense through the magical power of music and movement. All right, sometimes it just soothes the soul. Okay. Libras, as well you have cut your cords. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that, that stem from past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns. Cut your cords. Stop holding on to the past. Gemini, Ascendant Masters, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. If you've been needing extra guidance, if you've been needing extra help, if you've been needing extra protection, know that they are here for you on that Gemini. All right, let's get a couple messages from Spirit as well, from up in heaven, just to kind of give you guys, you know, a nice little message. For somebody who is thinking or wondering about somebody who has passed away and you need a message from them, I'm feeling like I need to do this deck. So if that is you and that is what you are thinking of, um, here you go. So let's see what they want to tell you. We will be together again. You're missing them a lot, all right? Also, I always point you in the right direction. You're asking for guidance, and what they're telling you is you have animals. They are with you through your animals, okay? They're always going to point you in the right direction. Don't act like you're alone. Don't think that you are alone. Don't think that they're not there with you because they are. They're with you through your animals. Make sure that you pay attention to that. You're also being pointed in the right direction. They're helping you. Watch for the signs. Listen for the signs, okay? So I hope that that helped you out. Whoever needed that today, I felt like I needed that deck. Guys, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for joining me. I know it's a short video, all right, only seven minutes long, but hey, we do what we can, you know. They can't always be 30 minutes, so calm down. So I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.